What's up guys, welcome to your 189th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to learn about the status bar and how to update it. Uh, you know if you guys have a droid phone, when you get a text message, you get a little image of a message and then like a little text. You can pull this down, see your notifications, click on it, it does something. Uh, this is basically the finished application, pretty simple looking. We just hit a button and it displays like a lightning bolt, says what's up gangsters. Uh, we click our notification or actually we're going to go out of our activity uh, scroll down and uh, as you can see it has a title it says what's up and it says what's up gangsters click on that it opens back up this activity that we were just in and uh, you know clears our notification so that's pretty much what we're going to do it's probably going to take two tutorials maybe three um, but uh, what I want you guys to do is create a drawable uh, resource or a PNG uh, that is 24 pixels by 24 pixels. This is just going to be our icon. Uh, it's supposed to be a lightning bolt, but, you know, <laughs> I have no chance of being an artist ever. So, uh, yeah, just create something that's 24 pixels by 24 pixels. Save it in your drawable folder, and we're going to get going here. So, what we're also going to need is a new class called Status Bar and a new uh, layout that's just going to be one button um, called Status Bar as well. So, there we go. Again, it's just going to extend activity, implements on click listener, set up your button, set up your on click listener, and we're good to go. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need is a notification manager. It's going to kind of uh, well manage all of our notifications, going to clear specific notifications, going to you know add that notification to our, our title or our status bar. So that's what we're going to set up here for a whole class to use. We're going to call this notification uh, manager. And we're just going to call this NM and again add our imports and let's set this up what this notification manager is again going to do just allow us to access that status bar and you know clear the notification and update it so what we're going to do is we're going to say NM is equal to again notification manager and we're just going to say get system uh, service and we're going to pass in notification service so there we go we basically set up our notification manager and all that good stuff and now what we're going to do is we're again uh, going to allow a pending intent because once we you know add the notification to our taskbar there's an intent that's waiting to happen because it's going to launch our activity and it's just chilling there it's like hey guys uh, you know, I'm I'm an intent and I'm just hanging out. So uh, you know, whenever you guys, you know, need me, I'll just hit me up and uh, you know, we'll do we'll do that. So you know, that's basically the pending intent. Uh, we worked with that with widgets as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a pending intent. I'm just gonna call this pi. We're gonna set the sequel to pending intent um, class dot get activity. Uh, for the context, we're gonna say this. For um, the request code, we're going to say zero. For the intent, uh, let's set up a new intent up here called intent so we don't have to change anything. Um, again, we're just going to refer to the class that it opens. So we're going to just say uh, this is equal to new intent. And then the package name, we're going to say this. And uh, the class name, so we're going to say status bar dot uh, class and if you guys want to change which class it opens you can do that there um, so that's the intent that we're having for the flags we're just going to set this equal to zero and uh, that's probably going to be the quick introduction for this um, like I said it might take one more tutorial or two more not for sure depending on how elaborate I want to get into this but uh, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial um, and again just hopefully you guys understand kind of what the application is going to do so uh, we don't get too lost. It's not going to be too lengthy or hard or difficult or anything. But I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial and have a good one. See you later.